so today we're going to be making um, a loaf of bread, or actually a couple of loaves of bread. And um, in the 18th century, common people often ate bread that was uh, a mix of flours. The wealthier types would eat white bread. Uh, you know, white bread was more expensive. Um, but this is more like what ordinary people would have eaten. And it is a mix of cornmeal, which was referred to as Indian. Indian, so if you read an old recipe and they talk about add in so much Indian, they're talking about cornmeal. A mix of rye and a mix of wheat flour. Uh, from what I've read, um, apparently wheat doesn't grow very well in New England. So New Englanders in particular often ate other kinds of grains, such as Indian cornmeal. Uh, rye, barley, other things. So this is a mix. And we started last night making what's called a sponge. And this is the sponge right here. And the sponge was, is a mix of the cornmeal that was uh, scalded, mixed with hot water. And then there's some rye flour in there, and then of course the yeast. So this has been working for at least a good 12 hours. So a lot of early beer, uh, sorry, a lot of early bread recipes talk about make your sponge the night before. So this is what we did. We made the sponge the night before. And so now we're going to be adding it um, to this mix of wheat flour and rye flour. <clears throat> so here's the cornmeal with some rye flour and the yeast, which has been working. Smells very yeasty. mixing right in this bowl. So-called kneading. We're going to add some more rye flour. crossed again. Um, we've mixed our dough and added some additional flour, not too much. Uh, and then you see this is a very wet kind of a dough. And so we're going to put it into our uh, ceramic pie pans that are buttered here and then set it aside for two hours to rise.
So now we need to set these in a warm place, probably somewhere near the hearth, to rise for two hours. You can bake the bread right on the coals. Uh, because we have ours in these pans, we're going to put it, the pans on trivets and push it to the rear. Oh, can I put the little guy in? A little experimental little guy. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Waste not, quant not. There. Little guy. There you go. All right. So now we close it up. or the bread has been in there for a good no. hour. Yeah. So um, we're going to see how it is. Way back in there. It smells like bread. Aha! Half the battle. proper sound to it, and it smells delish. That was hot. <laughs> Come back. Okay. Well, this one's a little browner around the edges than that one is, which might have something to do with the heat in the oven not being even. Um, so we'll let that cool off a little bit, and then we'll slice into it. All right, so we've uh, let our bread cool for a little bit, and so now we're going to cut into it and, <laughs> and see what we see. Nice and crusty. So, a little doughy in the middle. Okay. Not as doughy as the Mm -hmm. 
cornmeal definitely gives it a texture. Okay, Nancy, you have to try it too. All right.